everyone. We're going to talk about the flame ionization detector used for gas chromatography in this video, or FID. And here is a nice diagram of the FID. Notice that you have gas flow, gas flow from the column. And what does that encounter? Well, sure enough, it actually does encounter a flame. Notice that we, we're also using hydrogen as fuel for the flame. The main thing I think to focus on in this figure is that this flame tip is biased negative relative to this so-called collector electrode. Yes, that's quite a large potential difference, isn't it? So what exactly happens here? Well, again, imagine mobile phase flowing through, and that's kind of your background signal. You get a constant current across the flame tip and the collector electrodes of about 10 to the negative 14 amps. So again, that's just your background. And what happens when our solute enters? Oh, it gets burned. And if that solute contains carbon atoms, ions and electrons are going to be produced, I guess, hence the name ionization. And what do you think the presence of these ions and electrons do to the current across the flame tip and the collector electrode? Well, I bet you're thinking what I'm thinking. I bet you're thinking that the presence of these ions and electrodes are going to increase that current, and that's right. So that's the response that we measure in the FID. The, again, the solute comes in, gets burned, ions are produced, and there's an increased current across the flame tip and that collector electrode. The FID has quite a few advantages. It's got a really nice wide linear range and really nice detection limits, roughly 100 times lower than the thermal conductivity detector, making the FID compatible with capillary columns, which you may, you may remember have a very low sample capacity. You can't inject that much analyte in the first place. But the FID will respond to that little bit of analyte that you do inject. It responds to most hydrocarbons, and it is a mass-sensitive detector. The number of ions produced in that flame is proportional to the number of carbon atoms. And the advantage there is that changes in mobile phase flow rate are going to have little effect on the response. Some disadvantages are that it doesn't respond that well to hydrocarbons with CN or CO bonds. It won't respond at all to non-hydrocarbons like the ones shown here. So really, the FID is not universal like the TCD was. And it will destroy the sample when it gets burned in that flame. And remember, the TCD didn't destroy the sample. So I think that's it for the FID. Thanks for listening and hope you enjoyed the video.